Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of The Men of Yoshiwara Kikuya, or Gyakuten Yoshiwara. We are on Chapter 9, The Ornamental Hairpin. So just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. What did my ears just pick up? Worried and confused, I looked to Iroha-san for help. Misao-san, there is nothing for you to worry about. Did he say that to cast me aside? Or was he telling me not to worry? Iroha-san smiled at me and pushed me back softly. He was telling me that I should leave this place and not worry about the woman. Iroha, wait! I came here for you! I'm afraid that I have nothing to say to you. Could you leave? Please, Iroha! Can we spend time together as a family just for today? The lady came close to Iroha-san and snuggled her body next to his arm. And the lady directed a frosty stare at me. I've heard of you. Iroha-san made an exception to take care of you, right? But you can't hand him over for today. It's fine, isn't it? Are you talking to me? But... You give my child time to spend with his father, okay? I, um... Not knowing what to do with all this, Iroha-san pushed her away. Clients should not make their own deals amongst themselves. As manager, I'm the one in charge. Shop clerk, a customer is leaving now. Please see her off. Iroha! With great ease, Iroha-san escaped the grasp of the woman who tried to grab his clothing. Well, Misao-san, shall we go? Iroha-san pulled on my arm as if nothing had happened. Uh, it's... is it okay to leave her? Yes, it's no problem. Because I have absolutely nothing to talk about with that woman. But I was still worried and looked back. When I did, she was glaring at me like an enraged ogre. Ugh. I wonder if she's thinking that I stole her husband. Somehow I can understand that woman's feelings. It makes me feel sorry for her. Understanding something in your head and being faced with reality weigh on one's feelings in totally different ways. The place I was bought to was Iroha-san's room. We went back to the room when everyone is waiting for him to lead the shop. He said that he wouldn't have children, but... I worried endlessly while holding my knees to my chest. Perhaps all women that come here come to experience this painful feeling. As I let out a large sigh, I heard the door open. Sorry to keep you waiting. What are you doing all scrunched up like that? Iroha-san laughed at me a little, with a voice that rang clear as a bell. You're so mean! How could you say something like that, even when you know what I'm thinking? I'm sorry. To be honest, I don't really know how to make you feel better. I wasn't really planning to give you this right now, but... Won't you accept this? With a small package in hand, Iroha-san sat down in front of me. What could he be giving me? I'm worried about whether I should accept this or not. Oh, should I... St I, I don't know why, but my natural response is, well, why? <laughs> well, why? You didn't do anything wrong. For some reason, none of the responses they give me for him feel natural. So, I don't know, I'm just kind of guessing. <laughs> Even if she didn't come here, I would have wanted to give you this. I bought this for you during the day. You won't accept it? You bought it then? Uh, um, well, I also... I took the ornamental hairpin out of my chest pocket and gave it to Iroha. Is this for me? It's not a tribute or anything. I thought that it would look really good on you. Well, well. So, it's an exchange then. I nodded and accepted Iroha-san's package. Can I open it? Of course. I was so excited as I untied the small package. When I opened it, there was a white transparent cloth. When I spread it open, it looked like there were two straps that could be hung on one's shoulders. This is too see-through to cover one's body, and its length only goes to my thigh. Um, what is this? It's sleepwear from a foreign country, something called a negligee. I heard that it's comfortable to sleep in, and I thought that it would look good on you. Th this is sleepwear? Honestly, I was so surprised. But Iroha-san went through the trouble of getting me this. Could you try it on for me? This sleepwear is so transparent. I felt my cheeks burning from shame. But I couldn't resist Iroha-san's eyes that were full with expectation. Uh, okay. 
I held the negligee to my chest and moved to a different room to change. And... I somehow managed to wear it, but... This is more transparent than it first appeared. <laughs> Don't stay in the corner. Let me have a good look. I even if you say so. This really is embarrassing. Do you really think that people who live overseas would wear this kind of thing? As I asked Iroha, he slowly approached me. They do, and that's exactly why it came here. A bewitching smile came across his face, and just as soon as he came in front of me, he softly picked me up and carried me to the center of the room. Uh, um... I can walk by myself, so please put me down. If I wait for you to start moving, tomorrow morning will come. It really does look good on you. It brings pleasure to my eyes that I can see through to your white skin. Yuroha-san's words made me feel embarrassed, and my body went stiff. But... Yuroha-san was at a loss for words. Wondering what happened, I bought my face up, and then... Perhaps I made a mistake to make you wear that. Y yuroha san your appearance... I can't help it, can I? You're almost naked in my arms, Misao. It was my mistake to hold you. <laughs> so, you're thinking of me as a woman. Is that what this means? I can't believe that yuroha san feels that way. Without a thought, my heart went wild. <laughs> If it was going to come to this, I shouldn't have explained it to you. He looked embarrassed and a bitter smile came across his face. I'm... Uh... I'm happy. Or you can't hide anything. I'm happy. <laughs> because I can sense that you feel the same as I do. The same way? I'm not sure about that. A very mischievous smile came across Iroha-san's face. Iroha-san slowly distanced himself from me. Reluctant to part from him, I spoke as if to call him back. Um, may I put the ornamental hairpin in your hair? It will surely look good with your current appearance. Okay, go ahead. How long has it been since I last dressed up? Dressing up isn't such a big thing, but I'm still really excited to do this. I sometimes thought that I'd like to see you... I sometimes thought that I'd like to see what you look like when you dressed up beautifully like you used to long ago, Iroha-san. So, maybe I can get some idea of what it was like from this. As I said that, I softly placed the ornamental hairpin into his white hair. All done. The red looks better than I expected. How is it? One single ornamental hairpin. I didn't expect that he could look this gorgeous and beautiful. You look very beautiful. If there were some other words to express his beauty, and I knew these words, I would probably use many of those words. Iroha-san, please have a look yourself. When I tried to move to show him a, a mirror, he quickly put his arms around my waist. It's not interesting for me to look at myself. Because more than anything, I want to see your captivating face. Huh? I feel embarrassed. I said that while trying to suppress the feeling of tightness that I began to feel in my chest. Yuroha-san gave a subtle smile, then kissed me in such a way that his lips enveloped mine. As soon as I felt that I would get more passionate, he quickly separated from me. Yuroha-san? I looked up and stared at Yuroha-san's face. When I did, he suddenly turned away from me and smiled in a self-deprecating manner. Everything seems to backfire in front of you. It's so irritating. Huh? Well, let's go soon. If we play around too much, a scary ogre might come and attack you. Oh, no! <laughs> well, you should change your clothes. As if he's trying to persuade my feelings, Hiroha-san turned his back to me and urged me to change my clothes. With no other choice, I followed his orders. I really thought something was going to happen there. The next morning, as I talked to Hiroha-san and headed towards the entrance, there was the woman who visited the shop last night. That woman... I suddenly became worried. It's fine. So please, get home safely today. Yes. I took Iroha-san's hand and tangled my fingers in between his. I made a promise with him, only inside my heart. I wished that he would only love me. Hmm, well, if it's a request from a client, I guess I have no choice. Just then, my ears picked up the voices of the... Oh, it's a different person. Um, I said boss. I was like, boss? It has to be him, right? 
Mm. My ears picked up the voices of the boss of the red light district and a customer in conversation. So you'll let me spend time with Iroha tonight? Right? Yes, we'll speak to Iroha about that. She is an old customer of mine. When I saw the suffering on his face, I could tell that Iroha-san was also in a tough situation. But... If the boss of the red light district asks me, I cannot refuse. But Iroha-san... There is a part of me that feels I can't forgive him. How painful. I wish that the world would just end right here and now. If so, then everything would stop the way it was before, when it was just Iroha-san and me. Before I could lose my head, I ran away from that place. Misao-san. Behind me, I could hear Iroha-san's voice calling out to stop me. I confined myself to my room and desperately tried to calm myself down. If I see him now, I would probably end up taking an unsavory attitude with him. Just then, there was someone calling to me outside of my room. Misao-san? My body shuddered. There's no mistake about it. His voice is... I've come again. Iroha-san! May I come in? With his soft voice, Iroha-san opened the sliding door to my room. I couldn't stop worrying about you since you left like that. In front of me, Iroha-san was smiling with a distressed look on his face. As soon as I saw him, I spoke without thinking. Please run away with me! Misao-san. I clung to Iroha-san and looked up at his face in a begging manner. I can't stand the idea of you spending time with another woman. So, you're asking me to run away? That's impossible. He didn't take it at all seriously and laughed out loud. That means you're going to sleep with her, right? Why can you do that with her but not with me? It's, it's too cruel. I collapsed onto my knees right there. Iroha-san held my body tightly. I don't want him to be kind like this. Tears welled up in my eyes, along with frustration and sadness. Misao-san. You said that you're just a manager. You've said that you don't take clients anymore. Chapter 10. The Ogre is... I'm not a good man. Iroha-san held in his hands my cheeks that were wet with tears. And then he looked down into my eyes with sadness. The expression on his face made my heart ache, causing my tears to flow in excess. Me too. I'm sorry. In my head I understand that this is your job, but... Iroha-san traced the flow of my tears with his fingertips, and he softly kissed me where he had traced. The fact is that I'm hurting you. For that I should not be forgiven. That's not true. His lips slowly moved upwards and pressed gently against my eyelid and then his tongue slowly crawled to my eyelid, and I realized just how much I adore his lips. I can't forgive myself. Iroha-san. His eyes were sad and gentle. Could this be an ogre? Is he really an ogre? Could an ogre be a creature so tender-hearted as this? Whatever it is, it doesn't change the fact that Iroha-san is who he is. That he is the person that I want so much is also another fact that won't change. But would you mind listening to my story? I'd like to tell you what happened after you left. While holding me tightly, Iroha-san rubbed my back to calm me, all the while telling his story in a gentle voice. She had an affair with another gentleman of the night without the consent of the shop or myself. What? In Yoshiwara, things like that are forbidden. And yet her to show up like nothing happened. Just when I thought that I had to talk to everyone, she got up and left. But how is that so clear? I have the blood of an ogre in me. I have no desire to have a child that will be put through things like I went through. That's why I wouldn't do something like that. It is extremely difficult to believe that that woman holds my child. No, it's impossible. The fact that she had that child is the evidence that she had affairs with someone other than me. It seemed that I would catch glimpses of Iroha-san's difficult past from the words that he spoke. At the same time, I also understood that I wouldn't be able to have his baby. That's why you won't sleep with me? Yes. With a look on Iroha-san's face that I've never seen before, he tightly bit his lips in frustration. 
All of a sudden, he passionately laid his lips upon mine. His kiss was forcefully thrust upon me, as if it was his first time. Ever so sweetly and deeply, he assaulted my lips. We kissed over and over, devouring each other, and then his hot tongue invaded my mouth. Ugh. At first, everyone is pleased by my appearance. He continued to hold me tight and kiss me, like he was devouring me. They would say it like my inner happiness didn't matter. His lips gently left mine. Yuraha-san stared at me, and I could see a glimpse of something that was close to resignation. Everyone said the same thing in the beginning, but before long, those feelings would change. They would want to have children, and would want me to make them feel more satisfied. That's what they would all say. Despite the fact that I'm a gentleman of the night, I couldn't give them what I should be giving. Um... I think I'll just do dot dot dot. What could I say to him at this moment, when I was hanging down my head and I heard his soft voice? There's nothing for it. There's no reason for you to worry about it. But... Then why did you accept her story? Because I needed to investigate the other gentleman that she slept with. But to relieve your worries, I plan to take action as soon as today. What do you plan on doing? Yuraha-san narrowed his eyes and smiled coldly. As soon as I saw that, I felt worried. If you come, you'll see, all right? Won't you please come? It was the first time that he emphasized something like this. When I visited Kikuya as told, there were many gentlemen at the entrance. They were all watching with serious expressions on their faces. I wonder what's going on. Yuraha, I rushed over here since you said you would take care of me. She spoke in a joy-filled voice to break the tense atmosphere. But when she did, it only served to make the gentlemen's faces more tense and severe. Bring him here. Yuraha? What's with this atmosphere, and why are all these gentlemen here? The woman's words were quickly ignored. Obeying Yuraha-san's instructions, an attendant appeared. And the person that appeared with him was... What? A gentleman of the night. He was a beautiful man with impressive almond-shaped eyes. Do you recognize this gentleman? No, I don't. It's meaningless to lie, since there are so many ways to make you tell the truth. The woman instantly turned pale. Then... She collapsed onto the floor and began apologizing. She briefly looked at Yuraha-san with a pleading look and then pushed her head to apologize. I'm sorry. I just wanted a baby so much. Forgive me. We would normally follow our rules, but... Some time has already passed since this all began. So, why don't we settle this? By saying that you are forbidden from ever entering Yoshiwara again. And this would be communicated to all their shops in Yoshiwara. Ugh. Yuraha, I'm sorry. But, Yuraha, I really do. I have no interest in you. It's the same now as it was then. Nothing has changed. The woman was then carried by some attendants and kicked out of Kikuya. And from Yoshiwara as well. But why is it that the gentleman's expressions still remain tense? As for the gentleman that they bought out, his lips became blue and he was trembling with fear. Well, well, we'll be welcoming guests after this. So, everyone get yourselves ready. And you all right there. Without looking at him at all, he spoke to the pale gentleman of the night. Y yes Have you prepared yourself? I'll deal with you later. The gentleman that he spoke to hung his head down deeply. I pulled Yuraha's sleeve and asked him a question in a small voice. Um, Yuraha-san, how will you deal with him? When he turned around, I saw that he had put a feigned smile on his face. It wasn't my child, right? Y yes A room has been prepared today, so shall we head there? I noticed that he dodged my question. I kept quiet as I was led, led to that place. I wonder why was that gentleman so frightened? How exactly is he going to be dealt with? Even after I was shown into that room, I couldn't stop worrying about that. Misao-san, are you still suspicious? N no I'm not, but... Was the reason that he didn't answer my question earlier? Because he didn't want to answer? What could that be? Is that why he tried to change the topic? I directed a smile at Iroha-san. I just felt relieved. Oh really? 
Well then, that's good. As soon as he said that, he held my whole body tight. And then he loosened the strength in his arms. Then his handsome face slowly came close to me. Without thinking, I pushed his lips back with my hand. Uh, um, I understand why you won't sleep with me, but... Would you mind closing your eyes when we kiss? I slowly took my hand away from Iro Hassan's lips and stared at him. You noticed? Just recently, yeah. But when I think back on it, your eyes were always open. It's not like I was trying to hide it. I thought that eventually I won't be able to satisfy you anymore, and you would leave me. When I thought that, I just couldn't help but stare at you. Why... why was he thinking of something so sad? I held both of Ira Hassan's hands tightly. I won't leave you. How could I ever disappear from someone that I cherish so much? That was from my heart. Yet Ira Hassan smiled with sorrow. Ira Hassan, it's true. Well... Well, when I made up my mind, will you allow me to sleep with you? Um... I want to sleep with you right now. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy that I want you to make love to me right now. Oh my. You're looking at me with such an innocent face. It's like a dream. I want to keep this promise in some physical form. I put my arms around Ira Hassan's neck and held his body tightly. From my arms or from my body, if only there was a way that I could express how happy I am. I would be so happy. Perhaps because I felt the same way, he gently stroked my hair with his hand. When an agreement is made, in Yoshiwara, it is common to give a part of your own body. A part of your body? That made me shudder. What does he mean by a part of your body? Uh, don't worry, it won't hurt. He softly smiled at me. It appeared to be fairly different from what I imagined. May I have a bit of your hair? Hair? Yes, shall we trade? Yes, of course. Please wait, I'll prepare. Ira Hassan bought a small knife from the back. In a place like this, even something like that is beautiful. Ira Hassan cut my hair. In return, I received some of Ira Hassan's hair. I neatly wrapped his shiny black hair in rice paper and put it in my chest pocket. Late that night, when I woke up, I couldn't find the person who was supposed to be right next to me. When I put out my hand, the bed had already gone cold. I got out of bed and stepped out into the hallway for no particular reason. Then... Slap! Huh? Among the silence of Kikuya, I could hear something being hit strongly. Smack! What's this sound? Curious, I walked forward. Then... Iroha-san was standing under the moonlight. It is the duty of the gentlemen of the night to follow the rules of Yoshiwara. This is what we should have been taught, is it not? Smack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It won't happen again. Smack. Iroha-san. A large adult is crying. That scene was so bizarre that I whispered his name without even knowing it. Why are you here? Why are you here, Ira Hassan? Why is this happening? I wanted to ask him, but I couldn't finish my sentence. He was holding a bamboo sword in his hand. He must have been hitting his back with it. This is my job as a manager. To make their bodies remember their own sins. To make an example to the other gentlemen. No! I couldn't hide my unease and took a step back. Next to Iroha-san, the gentleman was tied up and begging for forgiveness. Iroha-san once again glanced at the gentleman, and then... Let's go back to the room. I nervously held the hand that he extended to me. My mind was filled with the pale face of those gentlemen. They were all scared of this. Chapter 11 and only 35% likability. Not doing so good. <laughs> Well, that is our two chapters for this video, and I would love it if you would come hear the rest of the story later on. I'd love to see you in any of my other future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Dearly, really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.